Welcome back. We're playing everyone's favorite word game, Smantle. So, it's not music today. What could the word be? Um, so, yeah, by typing in words, you can see how well, how similar your word is in contexts. So, the word energy would be used as a substitute for this word in so many contexts. And based on that, we get a similarity score. And if you get the word exactly, then the similarity is 100%. Um, otherwise, the next nearest word here is 86%. Um, so I'm just like throwing out random ideas. Uh, Energy is pretty high up there. Heat is not. Uh, so what would be something... What would be something that would be used... I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a noun, verb, or other part of speech. So we gotta make some guesses until we have a better idea of what this is. Um... Mm-hmm. It can be difficult to get on the right track. Um, <laughs> getting close? We're tepid. How about tepid? That's a nice word. Mm-hmm. So, nature, glacier, uh, what else could be similar? Some feature of nature, like a canyon, a bluff, a hill. Canyon's pretty beautiful, I suppose. Um, what else? Could be worth sightseeing. A cave, perhaps? A uh, plateau? Forest? Ho! Oh! Alright, we are in there. We've guessed a word that is very, very similar to today's word. Um, now, what is similar to a forest? I don't know. Some sort of natural area. That... Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing to come up with that. Um, and not have something to follow it with. Okay, forests, plural, is up there. So maybe the word of the day might be a plural noun. Uh, conservation, all right. Conservatory means something entirely different. I just wanted to confirm my understanding of the language and which it's now concert, uh, confirmed. Um, all right. So, what else could it be? 
something about nature. But what? At least it feels like it. The word might be about nature. So many of these similar score or high scoring words are nature ish. Um, yeah, I don't know. How do I get closer than I've already gotten? That's the challenge. Oh, rainforest and rain forests. <laughs> okay, this one was not ranked in the top 1000 because it's uncommonly used. But it's a pretty similar con uh, word in the contexts. So, yeah, these words would show up in similar contexts is the point. Um but what could today's word be? It's going to be something. So how... I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of what else this could be. We've already looked at like swamp and uh, swamps, I think. So that ain't it. That ain't forests. Trees. Tree. All right. Um, it's not something about government, right? No. So, yeah, what could it be? We get the next word of the day in 14 minutes. But we, I guess we could continue guessing this even after the next word's available. I don't know exactly how that works. I've never failed a uh, Smantle in that way. But I imagine there, there's a time for me to fail this. Uh, and that time is drawing short. Uh, forest fire. Yeah. Um... Ah, chlorophyll? Nope. Um, fauna? Oh, flora? Species? Kingdom? Uh, ecosystem? Ecosystems. Species. Um, kingdom. Phylum. Genus. Order. Species. That's not the right sequence. Genus is somewhere in there. Class. Order. Family. Genus. Species. Uh, didn't think so. So, in danger, in danger, nope. Okay, extinct is not there. Yeah, what can this be? We got number 997, so there's three words more similar in context to today's mystery word than species. Uh, but I don't know what they could be.
Uh, what's the word for like to uh, symbiosis? Uh, symbiotic. Special? No. Interspecies? Okay. Yeah, this is a tough one. Maybe Fridays are supposed to be tough. I don't know. We got 10 minutes till the next words available. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. That's how that goes. That's right. I remember now. Took me a minute there. Um. Hmm. Ocean. Lake. I am puzzled. Biology? Biologist? Scientist is definitely not it. Um, I'm just super confused. Fauna, flora, etc. Conservation. Yeah, green was pretty high up. Well, I thought it was up there. It's not. Hmm. Well, I'm honestly somewhat looking forward to if a new word comes available and if the site fails me, seeing the failure message. That would be a novel experience for me. I've given up sometimes before, but I've never actually seen a failure prompt appear. Um, I'm surprised Ecosystems is a top of Ecosystem. Like why are, um, why would plurals be on top? That's basically the best clue I've got to go on here, and it's not much of a clue. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I typoed on that. What else could there be? Granted, like half the internet's already done videos about this word of the day. 
And I'm the last one to get to it. Mm. I just don't have any thoughts about um, like what this could what could encourage this what could be similar other than species and ecosystems etc ecology Um, geology, taxonomy, hmm. it seems like it'd be uh, not that sort of a noun. Hmm. Yeah, I'm typing in random words because I have no idea. Habitat? Oh my goodness. Woo! We got it. My browser doesn't remember that I've played this game in the past. That could well be my fault. Maybe I toggled some browser settings somewhere. But yeah, I seem to have gotten the word. Um, so we could see the complete list of other related words. Now, habitat is today's secret word. And apparently habitat, yeah, it's similar to ecosystem, and I could see that. But the notion that um, so many animal-related things and plant-related things could all be so similar to this but then such a word that's like scientific in nature that like tries to uh, classify things that itself isn't part of nature. It's a descriptor, this sort of thing. This had me wondering, well, okay, this is something nature related, but it's a classification of something because here we have very specific examples of like here's a rainforest here's flora here's a forest um so we have all these really specific nouns and here we have this sort of classified or classification of a i think this is still a noun but it's it's not an instance of a thing it it's a noun that could represent one of many like you could say, I don't know, it's not as, diff it has a different sort of connotation than rainforest or forest or ocean or things like that. Um, it's more, uh, so anyway, yeah, eventually I came up with this word somehow. I'm not explaining my thought process very clearly, but let's take a look at other related words. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, sure. Yeah, so we got today's word already. So I don't know why this doesn't remember that. Like, as I redirect, but fine. 
So then, yeah, similar words, habitats, wetlands, species, which we did get wetland, wildlife, grasslands, ecosystems. I've never heard of this word. Um, vegetation, I don't recall this word either. There's some really cool words in here. You can learn a lot of things about nature this way. Uh, you'd have to look up these words to figure out exactly what you mean or what they mean. Uh, I think estuary is a place where some things live. Is that like a stable for horses or something? I don't remember. Um, but yeah. Oh, non-migratory and overgrazing. I don't recall what clover means, so... Let me take a quick look. Define plover. A general name for birds of a particular type. All right, so you learn something new every day. Um, well, that definition even completely fits inside the chat window. Imagine that. Oh, so predatory doesn't isn't uh, similar in the eyes of the algorithm the site or the heuristic the site uses but predat uh, predation is a thing that happens in nature so very cool all right so let's try to reload the site we got today's word in 122 guesses uh, i guess what we're gonna do next we're gonna wait for the daily reset which should happen any minute here, if my math is right. And then we're going to try the next Symantle, just because it took me longer than expected. But also, um, like I didn't think it would take exactly this amount of time to do this. I expected it to either go quicker or much longer, in which case I would have failed it if it went much longer. But since we happen to finish exactly around the time that uh, the next word goes up, we might as well avail ourselves of this opportunity and play another day. Here we go. Let's refresh the page. And it's time for puzzle 168. Guess. Let's put in the word guess. Guess is wrong. Nature. Also not right. Music. Leader. All right. Fire. Energy. Thought or through uh, thought, um, idea, space, rocket. All right, we have gone absolutely nowhere today. Uh, just for visual interest, so let's put something up there that's not just a definition. Um, hmm. Nature is the best one that we've gotten so far. So we're just throwing random guests out there. Um, it's interesting that leader is not close to today's word. So we're going to have to fix, uh, figure something else out. The leader path leads to a lot of person-related things. Um, hmm. Desert is not similar. Okay. Or not contextually similar. Uh, nature is more similar than natural, so I'm guessing we're dealing with a noun today. That doesn't narrow it down a whole lot. But, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, law, nature, there's some kind of a pattern there. 
Um, strangely, order is not in there, but order can mean a lot of things. Um, so, there's a word for, like, I can't use a phrase, so, like, something like natural law. Um, nature already is up there. Uh, virtue is a word. That's amazing to me that law is so high ranked as compared to the rest of these. Um, legislate means to make laws. Well, maybe it doesn't exactly precisely mean that. I don't recall. Uh, but flaw. Nope. All right, so what in the world? Hmm, law and authority, nature, power's not up there, though. Mm hmm. How is it that some of these words are more similar than others? What does that mean? Well, okay, so by definition with the game, um, the words that you select are m most likely to appear in context next, next to today's mystery word. So law is likely to appear contextually close to whatever today's word is much more than, say, person or car. Um, But yeah, it can be hard to come up with good ideas here. Also, law is up there, but we, I think, already guessed authority. Oh, authority, I had not guessed, or I don't know. Authority appears higher than authorize. It's not something religious, as best as I can tell. Civility? Civilization? Whoa! Criminal? Why is that so high up? Is that how you spell thief? Wait, I spelled it both ways? Did I just do that? Okay. But one of... Well, one of those is spelled incorrectly, but neither of them is particularly high up on the pecking order here. So, something... That's amazing to me, that criminal. It either refers to the noun, the person who commits crime. Um, or um, it could refer to, I guess, an adjective yeah, of or pertaining to crime. Um, but that's interesting that criminal appears above civil here. Um, 
But yeah, if I get like more specific, like arson as a form of crime, then that doesn't appear. What more could there be? Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, didn't expect to find something so high up the list. Sure. All right, so we're, we're moving out of the rain, out of the space of things natural, into the space of things human created. Um, why are these are so high up? I don't know. So, this is amazing. How do I come up with words similar to this? Whoa, okay. There we go. We got it. Don't ask how. It just happens, so. Uh, do we want to continue making guesses as to, like, what's similar to this word in the eyes of this program? In the eyes of this website, Symantle? Do we want to continue guessing, like, um... So I would guess like witness would be similar. Yeah, witness is pretty high up there as one who provides testimony. Oh, I was thinking of deposition. I struggled to come up with deposition. Um, I was thinking like perjury and oath, and then I was like, okay, well, this is another site at which um, testimony could be given. But I couldn't think of the word deposition. I just switched from testify to, I was thinking testify, testifies, um, I was trying to think of more ways to, um, talk about a person testifying, and then this just happened to randomly jump into my mind. So we got it, 86 tries. Hope we enjoyed this, thanks for watching.